Oh, welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. Today I want to show you a nice project that can simulate a roulette wheel. You can use that to understand if it's worth betting or not. And, uh, you know, do, do other things with this, as you see, please. So it's a very simple uh, file. It has some VBA coding into it. There are two sheets. The model, which shows you basically everything, and the roulette where I defined uh, the numbers and the color and I just I just uh, use red black I'm not sure if that's actually correct and um, here I have the color uh, drop down list and just a yes for some of these selections basically the user can select their first wager for mass uh, spins which is this button they select the color red green black drop down list and they can place a wager they can double the wager if lost that's a yes or, or a blank and this is the max wager meaning if you're running a few cycles you don't want to um, wage more than that and maximum number of spins for the spins here you see the last um, spin outcome Okay, what was the number, the result, the, the color, and the result, whether you won or lost. And you're running uh, profit or loss, in this case, negative uh, seven or 8,000 grand. Um, and you can see here, basically, the layout, every spin gets mine. So the three buttons, the clear, clears the table below, gets you back to your original wager, which was $10. Click on this button, you spin once. I clicked it twice, sorry. Do it again. So click once on the button, and you get a spin. 21 was the number, and I bet on red, so I won, and now I'm my profit is 10. Spin it again, I won again. Spin it again, I won again. Spin it again. Well, it's pretty good. All right, now I next time I spend. It was a loss, and now you see that the wager jumped to 20 because I flagged double wager if lost. So this is how you can spin one by one. If you want to do it um, all in one uh, button for the maximum number of spins, you click on that button, and you get, in this case, 30 spins, where it stop gives you the result. And you can see each time you lose, the wager do is doubled and if I click spin once now it tells me maximum number of spins reached okay I can always click on spin until max and that goes back to zero or I can just click 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 I can play with the numbers and now I want to wager uh, 8,000 Etc. So and you see that it, even though it doubled, it stopped at 2,000. I can take it higher now to 3,000, and and you can see. So you can play with that as you see fit. All right. So how does it work? Let's start with the easy part, which is the all the drop down list. So drop down list if you're not familiar, click on the cell data, click on this data validation. It will be on any value, just select list. And in this case, select this option, which is the colors on the other, sh other sheet. Same with here, I have a drop down list just for the yes. That's part number one. How does this um, file work? So what you don't see is over here. This is the mechanism to generate the result. So, for generating the number, I'm using round, rand between, which gives me an integer number between the max and the minimum of what I have over here. So it gives me always a number between zero to whatever I have over here. You can play with it to generate whatever number. And then it's just a matter of VLOOKUP for the number. Here I'm checking what was my selection, 
what was my wager and what was the result so it's double or nothing if it's the same wager I built this because it's an easy way to then copy it down below so during the code when it runs it just copies it to the last row where the spin number is the maximum plus one and every time it just goes to the bottom so you now you've seen how that works let's take a look at the code let's start with you see I have three different codes I have clear mass spin and spin clear is the most simple one um, here you can see right for the sheet called module the last row is based on the count over here and then I'm just saying okay from a10 through F and last row clear the contents I don't want to eliminate the formatting that I have I have a conditional formatting I'll show that as well and I want to um, bring back the wager so you see WS range C4 value equals C2 so this is how that works mass spin is very simple and I'm using both functions I'll show both the functions that I built so for mass spin I have spin as integer and again the, the worksheet is this worksheet I call clear which does that which I described and then I just run a loop for spin equals 1 till f4 which is the maximum every time I just call spin wheel which spin wheel is the main uh, function that I built um, I am um, application screen updating false and true this is just speeds up the macro again I'm um, setting the worksheet to be model I'm checking if uh, f4 is greater than g5 g5 that's the next spin so if if that is the case then I'm um, uh, generating this message the mass ma maximum number of spin is reached and otherwise I'm here in the if so again I'm checking the last uh, row with uh, this with this uh, code giving me the last row I am using this to uh, make sure that the formulas run so I don't copy uh, something that was the previous formula and then I'm just copying G5 through L5 which is what I showed you before to the last row cut copy <coughs> mode false that eliminates the uh, uh, area that you know when you select when you copy she'll so that eliminates that part um, then I just check if you want to double the wager if this is zero then uh, then I'm checking if that's a yes if it's a yes then I'm just going to use application function minimum because I don't want you to exclude ex extend beyond the max wager so it's twice C4 or E4 the minimum between the two and I'm using d7 to show zero because that only happens if I lose if I win I don't en enter this loop and that is it that's how you do it so real quick hide the uh, back end part of this three magic buttons and you can build this on your own or follow follow the all the steps and do it yourself um, if you enjoyed the video I hope you would subscribe, hit that like button, share with your friends and colleagues. I am supplying new content constantly. Take care now.